So for May, I decided to switch to Intelligent Octopus Flux, but was that the right decision? So I based that decision on this chart from my Tariff Rule of Thumb video. If you've not seen that, go and check it out. I'll uh, link it up in the corner. Now, what I uh, assumed is that we would generate about 1.6, 1.7 times the amount that we would consume for the month. So uh, the ratio of generation to consumption would be somewhere in this ballpark here, uh, 1.6, 1.7. And if I read up from the bottom of the chart here, the first line I hit is the intelligent flux line. Now that suggests that that would be the tariff that would pay out the most. So anything below the line here is Octopus paying us and anything above the line would be us paying Octopus. So the lower down uh, on that axis the any particular one of these lines is, uh, the better for us. So uh, the, lo the lowest one uh, for a ratio of 1.6, 1.7 is the green line, which is intelligent flux. Whereas uh, intelligent go and regular flux are about the same somewhere in this region here, and the other two tariffs um, are nowhere near. So for us, I think the clear choice was uh, intelligent flux, and uh, that's what we did. So what actually happened? And here are the results. So what I've done is I've added in up in the box up here our actual consumption and generation values. So we consumed 453 kilowatt hours and we generated 753 kilowatt hours, which gives us a ratio between the generation and the consumption of 1.66. Uh, interestingly, um, our actual import and export were both slightly lower than those two numbers. So um, that's because of the way uh, Octopus controlled our battery uh, charging and discharging. Some of it happened from the grid, some of it happened using excess solar. Um, so uh, it didn't quite match the consumption and generation values, which means the um, actual uh, cost um, worked out slightly different to my rule of thumb, but uh, let me go through the details with you now. Uh, so the uh, estimated values here, the blue uh, bars in this chart, are using my rule of thumb. So that's just assuming the consumption and generation values and then plugging that into my rule of thumb uh, calculation. And you can see that um, it more or less um, matches with the rank ordering from the chart I showed a minute ago. So we have Intelligent Flux as the best one at £72.60 paid to us from Octopus. Regular Flux is uh, about £10 less at £61.93 and Intelligent Go very similar to Regular Flux at £60.22 and then the other two tariffs, um, you know, lower uh, again, uh, similar to the uh, what I showed in the previous chart. Interestingly, what actually happened, what we actually um, uh, got paid from Octopus based on the half hourly uh, data that, uh, that I downloaded from Octopus, for Intelligent Flux was a little bit less than the £72.60 that I estimated it should be. We got £66.08. If we'd been on regular Flux, we would have received £56.91 instead of the £61.93 that my rule of thumb suggested. And if we'd been on Intelligent Go, we would have received about £54.50 instead of the £60 that my uh, rule of thumb suggested. So I was slightly lower in all cases. However, my rank ordering is the same, which is uh, good to see. So, and that's the important thing really, is um, deciding which is the best rather than what's the actual uh, number that you're gonna get out. And the fact that I got that close, I'm gonna say is pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So, uh, one a uh, couple of caveats to mention. Uh, the um, Obviously the calculation for intelligent flux is correct based on the half hour uh, import and export that, um, that uh, actually happened. For Flux I had to make a couple of assumptions, in particular all of the import I assumed happened at the uh, the overnight import rate for Flux at 14.31 pence uh, per kilowatt hour, so that's assuming basically that um, any charging um, to fill the battery happened during that off-peak period. It doesn't really matter as it happens because otherwise it would have used excess solar which we could have exported at 14.59 pence per kilowatt hour which is very similar so I don't think that assumption um, makes a lot of difference uh, and the other assumption is of course that we would export about the same amount as we would have done with um, intelligent flux. Now that's probably about right actually because for most um, most of the time when we're exporting on intelligent flux we're exporting at the full whack for the full three hours, which is about the best you can can achieve. And that's the best I could achieve with regular flux as well. So I'm pretty confident that these two numbers um, are reasonably accurate. Um, with Intelligent Go, again, I had to make the assumption that all of the consumption occurred at the off-peak rate of 7.5 pence per kilowatt hour, and all of the export uh, happened at the 15 pence per kilowatt hour that you can get using the Intelligent Go um, uh, flat export rate. 
Now, you may find that if you have a particularly large battery, you may be able to do a bit better than this if you're able to charge up a lot more overnight and then force discharge a lot more during the day, you could actually extract a bit more value. So you might be able to pull this value down a bit more so that you can beat this £54.53. Um, so you, you might even be able to beat this £60.22 that I've got here. Whether you'd reach the levels of um, intelligent flux, I don't know. You might be able to get quite close to that. So if you've got a big battery, you might find that Intelligent Go works out just as well as Intelligent Flux, except you would have to control when you um, force discharge your battery. So that's the only caveat with that. I would say Intelligent Flux is plug and play. You just let it get on with it. So uh, that's pretty good. Whereas Intelligent Go, you'd have to do that control yourself. Um, so yeah, this is a, a bit of a you know a bit of an estimate here based on um, what actually happened with with my particular uh, pattern of charging and discharging. But you might be able to extract a little bit more value, possibly than than what I've su I'm suggesting here. Um, but otherwise, uh, I'm pretty pleased with the rank ordering and um, getting that close with uh, the actual values. Uh, I'm uh, very pleased indeed. So I'm feeling pretty good about that decision. And of course, if you're not with Octopus and you'd like to try out one of these fancy tariffs, then please feel free to use my referral code, which is scrolling above my head right now. And if you do that, then we'll both get £50 credited to our account, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, so the next video hopefully will be the full monthly stats uh, roundup. Um, but until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.